welcome to my channel. So today's video is the Chloe Ting two week shred. So um, you probably have seen this on the internet. So it's been all over YouTube. I've seen quite a lot of it on Twitter and stuff as well. So when I first saw this, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a go. Um, fitness wise, if you had a scale one to 10, like I'm literally a zero on fitness. I am just terrible at fitness. I'm so unfit. So I thought I would give this challenge a go. At the stage I'm at now, I have already completed the two week shred. What I'm gonna do is talk you through my experience with it. I'm not gonna bore you to death with like every single day updates, but I'm just gonna talk you through how I found it and then also at the end, give you my results. So this is day one of the shred. Um, I weighed in at 67 kilos. And day one is just two workouts, which was 23 minutes long. Um, I would definitely say day one and two, I struggled the most because my fitness levels were so bad. So yeah, as you can see, I was a bit of a sweaty mess after that first one. And the second video, again, I found it quite hard just because I hadn't really done the moves before and stuff. So it took me a while to adjust to it, which was the same in day two. So day three was the longest of the videos that I'd done so far. Um, I had to do four workouts, which was 45 minutes in total. I had to do the two everyday routines, lower body burn and get that ab line in 35 days. Um, two of the videos were new to me. I had done the um, get that ab line in 11 days on day three, which was optional. Um, so yeah, I did definitely find it a bit of a challenge and I feel like at this point you can start to feel the burn a little bit more. Um, day four was three workouts and day five was a rest day. And then day six was three workouts as well. Day at seven, I feel like I had a whole new burst of energy because I feel like at this point I could start to see some results. I feel like prior to this, I definitely was a bit sluggish with it, but I feel like this gave me that boost to keep going. Um, so day at seven was four workouts, which was 45 minutes. Um, this was when we literally had the heat wave in the UK as well. So it was such a struggle. I did have to take quite a lot of breaks. Um, and then day eight was four workouts, which was 38 minutes. One of them was an optional routine, but it was only three minutes long. So I thought I would just do it with it. And then day nine was a rest day, but I actually ended up taking two rest days just because it was so hot and I was pretty tired from it. So I took two rest days instead of one. So day 10 was actually just after I'd taken those two rest days. And I feel like the first day back to it, I actually really struggled again where I had taken that extra rest day. I feel like my body was just a little bit drained from it, so it did take me a while to get back into it. Um, so day 10 again was four workouts, which was 47 minutes in total. This was all four of the main routines together, so I feel like I was really, really struggling at this point. Um, day 11 was a nice easy day because you only had to do two workouts which was 23 minutes so I feel like I did that day quite easily because it was a bit of a rest on my body again. Um, day 12 was four workouts again so 45 minutes long and then day 13 I had to do three workouts which was 33 minutes long. So finally we got to day 14 which is the final day. Um, day 14 was actually a pretty long one again. It was four workouts, which was 47 minutes long. Um, but I actually took my um, before and afters before I did the workout. And I feel like seeing those differences gave me that boost of energy to do it again. Um, so I found these workouts quite easy. And I feel like obviously by day 14, you sort of know what's coming next. For some reason as well, I've lost the clip of me weighing myself on day 14, but I weighed in at 65.6 kilos, so I lost 1.4 kilos, I think, and it was pretty good considering I didn't diet at all this time, I just carried on eating normally while doing the exercises. So this is the part you've probably all been waiting for, and this is my results. So I measured myself on day two, I did actually forget to on day one. Um, I measured my chest, my waist and my hips to see if anything would change. So on day two, my chest was 34 inches, my waist was 28 inches and my hips were 38 inches. So I had a 10 inch difference between my waist 
and my hips so I think that was the thing that made me think right okay like I need to really do this um so then I measured myself on day 15 after I had finished the shred and my chest was 33 inches so I've lost an inch around my chest um, my waist was 27 so I've lost an inch around my waist and my hips were 36 so I've lost two inches on my hips which was pretty good and um, so still a nine inch difference between waist and hips but um we'll get that one day um so yeah all in all I lost Four inches and then I have some before and after videos and photos to show you as well um, so firstly the video I definitely found at the start of the challenge I had quite a bit of a blow on my stomach here's the video of me on day one and me on day 14 so I definitely felt like my stomach in particular was a lot flatter um, I did definitely want to tone this bit a bit more and I feel like from the front on I can see a lot more definition again I have a photo here that I'm going to insert where you can see I have a bit more definition here um, but I definitely feel like I still have a bit of a way to go I feel like to start me off with it was definitely a good like beginners kind of thing because as I said my fitness is just terrible um, and I actually found this not too bad at the beginning obviously I was like no but I didn't find it too bad to be honest and I feel like I'm probably going to do it again just to see if I can get the same results again or whether it sort of slows down after that um, yeah I would definitely recommend it and I was really happy personally with my results thank you for watching everyone if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of me and I'll see you in my next video bye